If your son wasn't entitled enough, it's like he never stops with this entitlement syndrome his son is, is, is it, you know, deals with. Because I'll tell you what, any parent that allows their kid to do what Chador did in the face of that Colorado State coach last year, they're not doing a really good job parenting. Because that was, I don't give a shit what that man said about Deion Sanders before a game, it's a football game. And you're a 21-year-old little boy. And you come in that man's face with your blinging your watch like that shit. First of all, why is there a $50,000 watch in somebody's pocket on the sideline to put on this kid's wrist? It's unbel- it's, it's like low class, next level low class. And realistically, that coach would have been every right to punch that kid square in his fucking mouth. Because he deserves no, it. No, he can't. He nah, can't do that. You, you do. You do that again. Exactly. You, he do, he gets away with shit that if you did that shit on the fucking street or in a high school right now, they'd knock you in your fucking mouth. And the way he behaves, he's a pampered, spoiled brat. He he skips the first week of practice to go to a Louis Vuitton fucking whatever he did with his brother. They're freaking walking a runway while they're in, they're missing practice at, at Colorado. How Rudy, does that look for your teammates? Rudy, I just think you have to understand that this shit is changing. Whatever it is. We, whatever, we it thought is. The status, whatever we thought the status quo was before and how you're supposed to do things in a certain way, that's just not going on anymore. Like, these kids are getting meal deals. These kids are making loads of money that nobody else made before. So when you make that type of money, it comes with the it comes with the power. You make the money, you come with the power to do things that you want to fucking do whenever you fucking want to do it. I hate it for the sport because it's fucking the sport up totally, 100%. And Dion is definitely in, in, in enabling it. And, and he shouldn't be. And he should 100% shouldn't be. But Dion was always a show-off person. And that's who his, that's just his bravado. And that's what it's been the whole time. So he kind of bring that to his kids also. And the cop, and his other stars that's with him. You know. So that's just how it, it flows with those people. With him and his kids. You know. We're going to call. We're going to call. You know. We're going to call all of them his kids also. You know. So. But Travis how, Hunter? Yeah, he Travis Hunter. He doesn't behave that way. He doesn't because he's not fully Dion kid, but he doesn't he behave has, that way. He, and that he, kid is a he's a likable kid. Yeah. His but, son is a douchebag. <laughs> he's a douchebag. And he's a spo- he is literally the kids that grow up in the but, private but the he's white just, kids from the private school. He's a white kid. He's, he's just not like, hood. No. He's not hood. And he made a comment recently this week also about how he, he um he came from. He was disadvantaged by going to a private school. Motherfucker, you grew up in a twenty thousand square foot house. You went to a private school. You live in a white neighborhood. Stop acting like you're hood. You're not. You have no idea. Your dad grew up in Fort Myers. Your dad grew up broke. You did not grow up broke. It's like when Michael Irvin talked about his stupid son, who's writing rap music about having a gun and shooting up stuff, and bro, and he said on national TV. You grew up in a 20,000 square foot house in a gated community. You don't know dick about fucking being hood. But Deion Sanders, so Michael Irvin, who's a lunatic in itself, says that to his own kid, and Deion Sanders props this bullshit up. It's crazy. But you you get look- kids out of the hood so they don't have to deal with that, but this mm-hmm. kid act- thinks he's a gangster. And he acts like it. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.